weld fit hammer weld fit hammer weld it's pretty much the process of putting one of these kits together what is up everybody welcome back to the channel so we are taking a little bit of a hiatus from the old race to 100 ski back here waiting on some parts and trying to figure some things out there well i gotta keep doing things in the shop to keep things moving along so what do we got we got mini jet boat build from the ground up coming at you that's what we're gonna do in this episode is get started on that build and uh see how far we can get before our parts come in for the race to 100 ski in the meantime little nine and a half foot mini jet boat so at this point you can see i'm using all kinds of clamps and uh, vice grips and come alongs to bring the bow of the boat together and then once i get it in place i'm tacking it up and uh, just continue to do this until the shape of the bow is fitted and uh, looking pretty good. I just ran her out of wire in my spool gun, so I thought it'd be a good place to stop and show you the progress. So uh, I've got the uh, bow starting to be tacked up engine bearers are tacked i used a system of uh you know uh vice grips and this uh, what do you call those dang things squeeze clamps and the uh tie down bars you know across there to get the valve starting to come together it's gonna be pretty tough a lot of tension right up here so i'm gonna change to a new spool wire I'm going to finish tacking the center probably all the way up to there and then I'll start working on this stuff right here. So spool gun wire change, continue stitching together. <laughs> Right here I'm trying to fit the chine on the starboard side of the boat and it just didn't quite fit the curvature of the boat so I was having to slice it and kind of rebend and tack and slice and rebend and tack. That's what I'm doing here. I had to do the same for the other side and that uh, just helped conform to the side of the boat. two puppers made it in the video. The black one is a cane of Corso that we uh, were fostering and she found a good home. And the brown one is old Gustavo, pretty much the best boxer in the world. Well, best dog in the world for that matter.
as you can see, she's starting to look like a boat. Well, half a boat. So, I've got, uh, got the old uh, side of the boat here tacked up. It's fitting pretty good. Starting to come together. I'm really just tacking everything right now. Just in case I have to bust this thing back apart. So as you can see here on this chine over here. Oh my God, dogs. All the dogs. I had to uh, kind of slice that chine. Didn't have very good fitment to help curve it around the bow on this side. I do not have the chine for this side. So I very well may be done for the night. I got kind of what I wanted to do. Pretty happy with things so far. Uh, yeah, it's a little extra work on the fitment stuff, but uh, you know, I mean, machines aren't calibrated right. It could be off a hundred thousandths or something everywhere, which I'm just gonna have to deal with. Um, so yeah, and I cannot wait to rip this boat. We uh, probably are at a stopping point enough to where I need to wait for that other chine. Maybe I'll tack that other side on up to basically, you know, where the chine goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that real quick. And, uh, yeah. Do the poopy dogs. This is the lily girl who's a little foster doggy. She's totally up for grabs. Pretty good dog. Yes, she is. All right, update on the Little Ripper mini jet boat here. We are kind of at a bit of a standstill here because the metal place didn't get me the other chine. So my options are to make my own chine or wait for the uh, uh, wait for the machine shop. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make my own chine. I'll get some cardboard, make a little pattern. All this stuff doesn't have to be precise because this is metal and metal can be formed and shaped and ground and welded as needed, boys and girls, it's that simple. Just like I had to do on this chine. I had to notch it in one, two, three, four, five, six places and recurve that bin because whatever the metal place didn't uh didn't cut it right no big deal so uh, i'm gonna go get some pieces uh of flat 50 53 aluminum that i have out there oh wait that might be eighth inch and i need three sixteenths dang that's true i don't know i'm gonna check that anyways uh maybe i'll just use eighth inch too the sides are eighth inch We'll figure that out, but uh, I'm going to make a chine and we're going to continue on with welding out this hole. Here we go. basic shape of the boat is uh, in place here. I went ahead and turned it on its side to better do this side. The uh, pulse setting 
really works on this thinner stuff. So uh, I'm going to make this one piece out of 3 16 like the other side. So now I'm going to rotate the boat back over and we'll start. Well, uh, hold on. Boat is rotated back over and I'm going to start on the whole sides here. I go right there and right there. Here we go. How much time-lapse welding can you take? I'm going to find out here. Because as you uh, can see, most of this first episode is all about welding. I have taken a break from filming because getting this front end to fit up was quite the challenge. And I decided not to uh, film it. So, got a little bit of work to do on the nose here, but for the most part, the boat is together I got the boat on its side go ahead and weld up these things weld up the uh, weld up this yes I start to fabricate that piece which I may or may not do so yeah I'm just gonna weld on the sides weld up these weld up the keel and move around a little bit and then flip the boat over and weld up the other side more time lapse welding to come how entertaining can i make it i don't know i've seen other entertaining time lapse welding videos before my editing is not so great so hopefully i can make this entertaining but here we go You get the gist of it. Weld, 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 fit, hammer, weld, fit, hammer, weld. It's pretty much the process of putting one of these kits together. And uh, hopefully I conveyed that in this episode. So I think I will end it off there. I'm gonna do a bunch more welding and a bunch more grinding. And then we're gonna get to some cool stuff like fitting the pump, pulling the motor from the donor ski out there the kawasaki 1100 triple ultra um so yeah we'll uh we'll start fitting that up and uh seeing where that's gonna go and getting our intake hole cut and getting our intake ring welded in i think i'll be able to accomplish all that in the next episode so in the meantime thanks for watching like and subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one